peace love and life family this is Essie the gardener hope everyone is having a happy Tuesday I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on with my recently planted multi grafted trees as you can see everything um, is blooming this one here is my multi grafted tree which I had to separate the branches as you can see right here with a scrunchie because they were crossing each other and you want to train any branch um, not to cross each other so you can actually purchase separators which cost ten dollars or more but you as you can see you can use anything to separate as long as not, it's not something that's cutting into the bark of the tree so this is my multi grafted um, tree which has the plum rosa um, the dust peach Let's see if I can get you guys over there. Focus. The dust peach. And then the rosa plum. And the royal apricot. The Alberta peach. And the nectarine. Independence nectarine. And I think I got this one already. Let's see yes dust dust peach so they're looking really good i'm thinking that i might need to top this off with a little bit more um soil underneath the mulch and um i think it's time to fertilize them um you know how you plant things you forget what you did but i know that i definitely gave them some mycorrhiza some azomite and um some worm casting so the soil that I used was full of nutrients but I'm definitely going to sprinkle some fertilizer around it okay let's move along this one here she's looking adorable that is the multi grafted apple tree and this one has the gala apple the Fuji Fuji apple and the golden delicious apple and the red delicious apple so she is adorable y'all see those flowers on her she is adorable i am so enjoying this color on these here and she seems to be doing well as y'all can see, I did, a, I did a video on the protection, how I use the drainage pipes to protect them. Easy peasy DIY. Let's move along. And that is my multi-grafted cherry tree. And it is the Bing. Let's see if we can get you to focus. The Bing cherry. Then we have the lapis cherry and we have the tartarian cherry and we have the van the van cherry there we go okay you guys and she seems to be doing well okay um she has beautiful flowers as well. And I'm not even sure if these little specks over here are cherries. But they possibly are. Can you guys see them? These little specks here. Okay. And she seems to be doing well. I did check the trunk of them when I came out and checked them the other day. And I noticed that this one had some growth at the bottom of the trunk as far as leaves sprouting out and I know a couple of videos that I watched that I did uh, research on and study before I started purchasing trees just trying to get familiar with how they grow what to expect and one of the videos said that you don't you definitely don't want your tree sprouting out blooms at the bottom so if you see that they encourage you to um, cut them off pull them off because you don't want the energy going at the bottom of the 
trunk um, where the roots is at as far as leaf growth. So you want your tree to focus, focus on the root growth at the bottom. So I did see, let me see if I can lift this up. So I did see some down there and let's see. Right in here, and actually you can still see a little bit more. So what you want to do is just get in there and pull that out. And yeah, just pull it out. It actually had more than this. And I was like, no, no, you gotta go. So um that's what I did. Just uh pulled it out. Yeah, so that'll be something that you might want to keep your eyes on when you first plant your trees okay you guys so that is an update and i know uh grow organics do guarantee leaf out no later than may i think it's may 15th um i had no problems with my trees they went they were budding pretty much when i got them and as soon as they got in the ground, they just really took off. So, I am very happy with my trees. And I will bring you guys an update on what's going on with the citrus, which is on the deck. Um, I'll definitely bring you guys an update on that. Okay, you guys? And I'm coming to the finish line. I'm going to do a tour of the garden. The garden is um, everything has pretty much went to seed a lot of green going on with each one of the raised beds so I'm super excited on the germination of all the seeds in the raised beds so I'll bring you guys some footage on that this is Essie the gardener peace love light like subscribe and share hit the notification button and I'll see you guys on the next video peace